going on people I just woke up as you can probably tell today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what I eat in a day and yes I chucked the hat on as soon as I woke up because I just do not feel like doing my hair this morning I'm sure you'll see me without a hat on sometime today but I can't speak too loud because everyone's still asleep the first meal I always have before cardio so I'll see you in the next clip first thing I do is have an energy drink and I make sure it has less than 100 milligrams caffeine. The reason I drink it is it helps me burn off a lot of fat. So caffeine is really good for fat burning, especially for me. And that'll help me in losing body fat. So that is why I drink that. On the way to the gym, it's um, I'll put all the macros on the screen, but it's basically yogurt, blueberries, and hemp seeds. So I'm gonna eat this right now and I'll show you the second thing I eat before I go to the gym. This meal never gets old. I'll tell you that much. This meal. If I look tired, personally I don't feel tired, but maybe my body is. Fun fact, I have a sweet tooth. You'll notice 90% of my meals have some sort of fruit. All right, so that's the first part of what I eat. The second part is gonna be some egg whites some potato and some greens. Now, I normally blend my greens and drink them, but when I'm shredding, I don't blend them because it's more filling to just eat it. And obviously when you're shredding, you get hungry all the time, right? You wanna utilize every technique possible to not be filled up as much. And vice versa, when I'm bulking, I blend up a lot of things. So there's egg whites on top, and then there's the greens, which I normally drink, but now I'm gonna be eating them. And underneath all that is some potato down there that's potato this is the second half of meal one this isn't meal two this is the second half and um, as you can see I like to have a big breakfast because it you know a lot of people like to do fasted cardio I like to have a big breakfast and then do my cardio and do it for a long time and it allows me to expend more energy on my cardio as you can see my gym of choice the good old snap fitness all right, so I've arrived at the gym and I have forgotten my headphones. I can't do an hour of cardio without headphones, so I'm gonna jet back home. I'm gonna grab my headphones and I'm gonna come back. Let me know in the comments below if that's extreme or if you're on 1250 calories and you're on prep and you're gonna do an hour of cardio, you need your damn headphones. Spot the difference. I've got my headphones now, so now I'm ready. So you've seen my meal one and you've seen my snack one which is the banana during cardio. Now let's go to meal two, three and four. I right, post cardio I have an apple so macros will be on screen somewhere. Hmm. These are supposed to be green apples, but um, when you're on 1200 calories, I can't, I can't talk right now. I can just say, um, <laughs> man. Are you kidding me? I'm actually missing an ingredient, which is frozen raspberries. So we're gonna make a little trip. I'm gonna buy some raspberries and I'm gonna film my next meal. So now we're doing meal three. So I was like twitching from like low calories and shit. <laughs> so we're gonna weigh out 100 grams broccoli first. Using the food scale obviously. Um, so it's 114 grams. Um, close enough to 100, I'm not really that picky. And then now we have 
So with the broccoli, a lot of people like to steam it and the thing is when you eat it raw, it actually increases your digestive enzymes. I don't know if you guys care too much about that. So next up we have beetroot, because it comes with a lot of sugar, so I just wash it off. I'm not too picky with that. And two more ingredients. So I'm gonna have salmon. So I choose canned salmon because it's much harder to find wild caught salmon in from where I am. So um, as you can see here, wild Alaskan salmon. It's little little differences. I know, I know it doesn't really, it's not really too big a deal for some people, but I don't know, I, I like to make sure everything's on point. Good. Okay, that's 70. Boom. What helps a lot on low calories is eating fruit at like every meal, if you haven't noticed, because um, I just eat something sweet. So, boom. And that's meal number two. So, a bunch of berries. So some people can't really eat these frozen berries. I actually, they're actually not too bad. As you can see, it's very soft. I can actually squeeze that. It's, um, I don't, oops. All right, so you're probably wondering with these frozen berries, do I eat them like that? I in fact do. It's a bit of a challenge. <laughs> but I really like it cold because it makes it a lot harder to eat and then when you're dieting, like you don't, you want it to be hard to eat so that you can actually like slow down while eating. I will never get um, frozen strawberries. I've tried that before. See, that's impossible. And I won't use frozen blackberries either. But frozen raspberries and fro frozen blueberries are fine to eat just like this. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it is harder to eat, so it makes it it makes it takes a bit longer for me to eat this. Just a little dieting hack, and um, it's like five times as cheap as well. Number two, and what I normally do is um, I have meal two and three together. So I'll show you meal three right after I eat this. Alright, let's get some. Alright, so that was meal two. For meal three, the ingredients are beans. So you may need to soak these overnight if you have problems with like digestion, but I'm, I'm fine to just have them straight off the can. So sunflower seeds. I'm bulking with these beans that you do want to wash them before you, you chuck them on. There's usually this like um, this weird syrup they're in, so if you wash that off. <clears throat> if you want to reduce that phytic acid, it would be a smart idea to soak these overnight, but to me it doesn't matter too much. 25 grams of Sunflower seeds. I know a lot of people who are very OCD with um, measurements. I used to be like that, but like, it's not gonna make too much of a difference. Like you wanna be accurate, but I don't know, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna be crazy. <laughs> So that's meal three. Um, not very filling, but I am a week out, so you shouldn't really be eating till you're full. Still tastes pretty nice though. Take a bit of everything. I'm gonna train and I'm gonna show you my last meal. I was not supposed to do cardio when I'm on 1750 calories or under. I'm not supposed to be doing cardio and I totally forgot and I did an hour of cardio in the morning. So right now I'm like totally depleted from glycogen. Um, so how I'm going to make up for that, I'm going to have some of these brown rice crackers. Still keeping it clean. Yeah, I um, need to make up for even a little bit of the calories lost during cardio. 
because I'm not supposed to be doing cardio. I need those carbs to fuel my workout. Let's do a little taste test, huh? Um, um, I, I was thinking like, yesterday I got a good workout in. Why am I so tired today? <laughs> I accidentally did an hour of cardio. Which is not a good thing because now I don't have energy for weights. If I don't have energy for weights, I'm going to lose more muscle. I need to have a good session so I can at least retain my muscle. So I am finishing up editing this video and I, uh, oh my god, not this again. <laughs> I'm finishing up editing the video and I forgot to show you guys my final meal, so I'll show you it right now. It's basically just a can of tuna, um, one capsicum and half an onion. I try not to eat too much protein before bed because it can mess with your sleep, but you know one can of tuna is fine. And I also try not to eat too many carbs before bed because that's just my personal preference. This is how the meal looks. One can of tuna, one capsicum. I, gen I try and go for red capsicum, but you know, there was no red. I had some yellow ones at home. Um, the red is generally more nutritious. And then half an onion. That's my final meal. I hope you guys enjoyed what I eat to get shredded. Keep in mind, you know, this plan may change in the future. In fact, currently I am deciding on whether I want caffeine to be in my diet or not. For example, um, I may be removing caffeine in the future. Um, another thing is I may be changing how much I eat before cardio. So as you saw, I had a pretty big meal. I may be decreasing that to just a small meal. So I'm constantly changing it up, but this is just what I'm doing at the moment. And just remember, if you're doing roughly 1500 calories or lower, you don't want to be doing one hour of cardio. You want to decrease the intensity of cardio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.